Hello students, welcome to the channel TopGate. In this video, we will discuss one more problem of Turing machine, that is to design a Turing machine for the language L is equal to WWR, where W belongs to A comma B star. Okay, so before designing this Turing machine, I will first uh, make you understand what this uh, WWR means and what kind of strings are possible in this particular language. Okay, so uh, what is W? W it is, is saying that W is a combination of A and B star. What does that mean? I mean in W we can have any combination of A and B including null. Okay, it is called as a clean closure. We have already discussed that. So uh, what we have in W? In W we have any combination of A and B. So let's say in W we have A, A, B, B. Okay, so if we have this thing in W then the string that we'll be having will be A, A, B, B and then followed by the exact reverse of this one, the exact opposite of this one. Okay, so if you are having A, A, B, B here, then in W, R will be having B, B and then A, A. Okay, so this is your W and this is your W, R. Okay, so if you analyze this, we can see that the first character is the same as the last character. The second one is the same as the second last. The third one is the same as the third last. The fourth is the same as the fourth last okay fine now if you analyze it more then we can see that if the length of w is an even number okay say 2 then the length of this whole string wwr will always be a even why because even plus even is a even number and if the length of this w is odd then also odd plus odd is even so in any case the length of this number the length of the strings in this language will always be even and if you if you analyze this closely you can see it's actually a palindrome you read it from here you read it from here it will always be a same string okay so that is why we sometimes call it as a even palindrome problem okay so it is always a even number and as well as it is a palindrome fine so these kind of strings are possible in this case that is we can have any combination of a and b uh, in the first w and then the exact reverse of that one in the second part of the string okay so let's uh, design the turing machine for this problem it is a pretty simple one we have already discussed a similar kind of problem in the previous video but uh, in that one we have this one w c w r okay so we don't have c in this one so uh, it is quite easier okay so let's take a input tape first the input tape that we have is i'll take the same string that i just took the example so I have this A, A, B, B, followed by B, B, A, A, and then a blank. So I'll divide this into certain cells. And the read write head is currently on to the first day. Okay. So now what is the logic in this one? The logic is very simple. Because I know the first letter and the last letter is the same. So what I'll do, I'll start with this one and I will make it a blank say in this case okay I can make it X also I can make it Y also but uh, I'll make it blank in this case okay so I'll read this one I'll make it blank then I'll go forward go to the right direction and while going on to the right direction I will skip everything that is I will skip this A I'll skip this B all these B's and all these A's will be skipped and finally I'll reach on to the last blank okay to the last side right hand side and then from this last blank i will take a left turn okay so from here i'll take a left turn and then what i'm getting i'm getting the same character that i got the got when i started the string okay so here i got this a so near this blank i should get this a only so i'll take a move for a only and then from here onwards i'll again take a left turn and while skipping all these a's and the b's and finally i'll come to this b and from b i'll take a right turn okay so i'll work in this way so let's start this one so initially the pointer is at a and the machine is at q naught so at q naught what we have to do we have to read this a and then convert this a into a blank so what i'll do the elementary process is a change it to b and move to the right direction so this a will be changed to b and the pointer will now point on to the next day okay and i'll reach on some state say q1 now okay now at q1 i have to skip everything so i'll skip all the a's i'll skip all the b's so here i'll take a self loop and 
that is if you find a let it be a move to the right direction if you find b let it be b move to the right direction so in this way all the a's and all the b's will be skipped and finally the pointer will stop at this b okay so it, it will skip all these a and all, all the b's and it will stop at the b now at q1 i'll take a move for this b so what to do this b i don't have to do anything with this b it is just uh, the border uh, near to which i will find the same character that i started the journey for okay so i need a pair for this one that is a i found here and this a should be here also okay so what i am finding if you find b let it be b only and move to the left direction so this b will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this a now i am finding a again now again this a should be changed to blank okay so i'll reach on to some state say q2 and at q2 what i'm doing i just have to make this a into blank so i'll take a move that is if you find a here convert it to b and move to the left direction and the state is say q3 now okay fine now at q3 this a has been changed to b and the pointer moves on to this a now what do i have to do again i need to skip everything all the a's and all the b's have to be skipped and finally i have to go to this b because after this b i'll find the next element fine so here i'll take a self loop and in this self loop i'll write if you find a let it be a go to the left if you find b let it be b go to the left okay so all these a's and all the b's will be skipped and the pointer will stop at this b now okay now first cycle is complete now i have to begin with the second cycle so for second cycle i need to again come back to q0 okay so what i'll do i'll simply come here with this move that is if you find a b let it be b and go to the right direction done so this b i'll move on and i'll go on to the next day and the pointer is on to the next day now so what to do at q0 machine knows that if you find a you should change it to b so i found this a this a has been changed to b and the pointer moves to the right direction on to b and the machine is at q1 okay now at q1 machine knows that if you find b keep it as b move to the right if you find a keep it a and move to the right so these two moves will be used and all the a's and all the b's will be skipped and finally the pointer will stop at this b which was earlier a and the machine is at q1 only okay now at q1 again machine knows that if you find a b you should keep it as b only and go to the left direction so i found this b and this b is kept as it is and the pointer moves on to the next day now and the machine is at q2 at q2 machine again knows that if you find a you should change it to b and go to the left so this a has been changed to b and the pointer will now point on to the left hand side that is on to the b okay and the machine is at q3 now at q3 machine again knows that if you find a keep it as a if you find b keep it as b so i'm not finding a but i am finding several b's so all these b's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this b and the machine is at q3 only at q3 machine knows that if you find b keep it as b and go to the right direction so i found a b and this b is at as as it is and i'll move on to the next b now and the machine is at q0 okay now at q0 what i'm finding i'm finding a b but i i have a move only for a so from here i'll take a move for b also that is if you find a b you should change it to b and then go to the right hand side of the string and then search for the same b there also okay so i need now this b is there i'll change this b to capital b and then i'll go on to the right direction and here i'll find a b only that is for this one there should be a pair here okay so what i'll get if you find a b change it to capital b and go to the right direction so this b will be changed to capital b okay and then the state will be say it is q4 and the pointer will now point on to the next b now at this point 
I have to skip everything. Why? Because the first part of the string is now done. I am done with the first part of the string and now have to, I now have to go on to the second part of the string where I will get a pair for this one. Okay. The B, the same B I will get there. So what I will do at this point, I will take a self loop and in this one, in, the, in this self loop, I will write that all the B's and all the A's have to be skipped. Right now, I'm not finding any A's here, but I may find the A's also. Okay. So here I'll take a move for B. That is, if you find a B, keep it as B and go to the right direction. If you find A, keep it as A and go to the right direction. So all the A's and all the B's will be skipped and the pointer will now point onto this B. And to the left hand side of this B, I should find a pair for this one. Okay. That is, I should find a B here only. Okay, so where have you landed now? At Q4, the pointer is that B only and this B, we don't have to do anything with this B. I'll again keep it as B only and go to the left hand side. So if you find a B, go to keep it as B and go to the left hand side. So this B will be kept as it is and the pointer will now point on to this B. Okay, and it is at Q5 now. Okay, now this B has to be changed to capital B because we are doing coming from this way and for this part of the string one B has been found for this part of the string one B has to be found okay fine so this B has to be changed to capital B so here I'll take a move for that is if you find a B change it to capital B and go to the left hand side so this B will be changed to capital B and the pointer will now move on to the left hand side that is the next B okay now this B again has to be skipped because for this part of the string I am done now again I have to go to the left hand side there I will find a new element and for that one I will again search for the pair in the WR part okay so I will reach on to some state say Q6 okay and at this point what I need to do all the A's and all the B's have to be skipped. Right now I'm not finding any A's, but I may find an A also. Okay. So I have to skip all the A's and all the B's. So here I'll take a self loop. That is, if you find an A, keep it as A, go to the left. If you find a B, keep it as B, go to the left. Okay. And then all the B's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this capital B. Okay. Now at this capital B, what I need to do? I just don't have to do anything with this capital B. I just have to take a right turn and at, while taking a right turn, I'll find my next element of the uh, W part of the string. Okay. So for one cycle has been complete now and I have to begin with the next cycle. So from here, I'll take a turn and I'll go to again Q naught with B comma B comma R and the pointer will now point on to this B. Okay. Now you can see in this one that at Q6 you are having this A comma A comma L and B comma B comma L and from this move you are taking a B comma B comma R move and going on to Q0 and if you see this at Q3 you have A comma A comma L and B comma B comma L and from here also you are taking a B B R move and going on to the Q0. So I mean what I can do in this one I simply can remove this one and this part can be removed and what I'll do this whole part I'll remove it and I'll simply connect this part with this one and this B has been changed to capital B and L okay so I'm doing the same thing again fine so whether I can take a new state here that is Q6 and do the same thing here or I can do my work with this Q3 also because at Q3 I'm finding AAL and BBL and going on to Q0 here also I'm finding the same thing so same thing can be done with the Q3 state only okay so I don't have to take a new state here I can take no issues in that but there is no need fine so simply I'll connect this Q5 to Q3 and my work will be done okay so now with BBR my pointer is on to the next B and the machine is working at Q0. So at Q0, machine knows that if you find a B, you should change it to capital B. So this B I found, this B has been changed to capital B. So therefore, I'll change it to capital B and the pointer will now point on to the right hand side that is small b now. Okay. So at Q4, all the Bs are skipped. So I'll skip this B, fine. This B will be skipped and the pointer will now point on 
to this plank. At Q4, machine again knows that if you find a B, you should keep it as B only and go on to the left hand side. So this B will be skipped and the pointer will now again come to this small b and at q5 machine knows that if you find a small b you should change it to capital b and go to the left hand side so this small b will be changed to capital b and i'll now go on to the right hand side that is this b now and the machine is at q3 so at q3 machine knows that if you find a b you should keep it as b and go to the right hand side so i'm finding a b I'll keep it as B and I'll go on to the right hand side. The pointer will now point onto this B and the machine will come at Q0. Okay. Now at Q0, what I'm finding right now, I'm finding a capital B and, and I don't have a move for capital B here. I have a move only for A, I have a move only for B. Now I'm finding a capital B that means that the first part of the string and the second part of the string is complete. I'm done with the first part. Now in the second part, I need to check whether any more elements are there or not. Okay, so but I am finding a capital B, therefore there is no element present in the second part of the string. Okay, so here I will take a move for capital B, that is if you find a capital B, keep it as B and go to the right hand side and take some straight say Q6, make it as final and we are done. Okay, so uh, this is the Turing machine for the language WWR where W belongs to A comma B star. Thank you so much.